So in this case, though, we have um, d over dx of 2x cubed, or the integral from 1 to 2x cubed of secant squared of t dt. Now, I am going to give you guys a shortcut. Before I go even go and give you a shortcut, though, let me just go ahead and work this out the long way, just to make sure that you guys are on the same page with me. So if we can integrate this, we can integrate that. That's going to be tangent tangent of t. And then we're going to integrate that from 2x cubed to 1. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have tangent of um, 2x cubed minus tangent of 1. I'm sorry, that is d over dx. So that turns into d over dx, right? And now we just need to take the derivative of this, which the derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared of 2x cubed times the chain rule, which is going to be times 6x squared minus derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared of 1 times the deriv times the chain. Huh? What? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a constant, right? Which is just going to give you 0, right? OK, so then, anyways. I was kind of moving a little bit too fast. 6 squared times secant of 2x cubed. OK? Which is, it is secant squared. I just forgot to write it in there. OK? You guys see that? Now do you guys want to know how to do this quicker? OK, another way to look at this, rather than doing this, which there's nothing wrong with this, but we also know that doing it this way Sometimes taking the integral, we're a little bit limited, right? We only have so few things to be able to take the uh, to do integration with, like so many techniques. So another way to do this exact same problem is let me just make sure I have that written. If we have d over dx of an integral from g of x to h of x of f of t. Dt. So basically, all this is saying, if you have the derivative with respect to x, we've already done the d over dx to the f of t of dt. But now it's just saying you have a function in the denominator and a function in the numerator. Okay, So these are functions, like 2x cubed, not like constants or anything. Then this just equals f of g, um, is it g prime of x? No, g of x. And then times g prime of x, then minus f of h of x times h prime of x. OK? Now, before you start thinking, whoa, that's way too much stuff for me to remember, just look at really what we're doing. We're just taking the top, plugging it into my function, and then multiplying by its derivative. And then subtracting that, Nathan, from taking the bottom, plugging it into the function, and then multiplying it by its derivative. So if we look at it that way, let's kind of do this. Let's do it for this function. So we have secant of 2x cubed times the derivative of 2x cubed, which is 6x squared, minus secant squared of 1 times the derivative of secant of 1, which is 0. And again, you guys would get the exact same answer that we got above. Okay. So this can be helpful to remember. So therefore, you don't have to do the actually any integration rules. You guys can just plug it in. 